All right. Um, good evening, colleagues. Um, welcome again um, to this evening's um, SFI seminar series. This is the 10th edition for this year. And I will continue our run on uh, um, the issue of in research innovation. All right. Um, so today we have a very fantastic um, uh, product that will be showcased by our sister. Um, so I will introduce her properly at the right time, and then I will hand over the mic to her. But um, just want to welcome you. Um, as the routine is, I will make a short um, presentation for the sake of those um, who are joining us for the first time. And then, of course, to give us um, some highlight reminders of some of our activities that currently ongoing uh, or on coming up. All right. But let me hand the mic to my colleague, um, Dr. Eman Sob, who is the co-convener of this seminar series. Eman, please um, say hello to the, to the participants. Hello. Welcome, everyone. Uh, my name is Iman Sop. I am Associate Professor of uh, Chest Diseases at Al-Azhar University, Egypt, and uh, currently at uh, Taiba University, Saudi Arabia. Uh, I am the um, Director of Science and Communication for African Science Frontiers Initiatives, and also I am the co-convener for African Science Frontiers Initiatives Science Seminar Series. I would like to welcome all of you and I hope you will join um, ASFI family for future communication collaboration, and you will be active participants in this seminar. Seminar needs engaging discussions and it needs input from all of you because our theme this year is about innovation and bringing innovative um, researches and the products from Africa to be um, in, on board and open for your communication and input. Thank you everyone and welcome to ASFI and don't miss this opportunity for communication and collaboration with your colleagues. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you much everyone. Okay, so yeah, um, I am very much looking forward and um, I know you'll be happy that you are here today. Um, so, um, because we have a very important uh, uh, product to showcase. So, um, the platform that is bringing this seminar series to you um, is African Science Frontiers Initiatives, um, shortened ASFI. Um, in ASFI, our uh, overarching uh, motivation is to highlight the fact that uh, in every in every society and in every generation, um, science and research are very critical um, in um, societal development. And so um, for society to grow and develop, uh, then the scientists in that society need to be up to their games. And what I mean by that is that their voices need to be heard, their actions need to be seen. And where that is lacking, and then society will dwindle in every facet. No wonder today, if you compare our continent Africa to other regions of the world, we are far behind in many things. And I tell you, in many African society, societies, uh, the situation is hopeless, um, ultimately hopeless. Um, perhaps because many of us are scientists, um, we may be sleeping, sorry to use that word. It's also because um, structural uh, situations in our 
societies that have not allowed us to live up to our dreams and expectations. But we want to highlight the fact that scientists have a very critical role to play in uh, society's development. It's, it's a good calling, but it can also be a challenge. One of the challenges is for researchers to have the required competencies, the capacity to carry out their work. This is one area we see that many Africans lack. And so as an organization, um, we have come on board to see how we can um, change that tra uh, trajectory <laughs> and support African scientists. That is our underlying motivation. So as you can see on the screen, our vision based on that background is to raise the next generation of African scientists who have the right competencies to drive Africa's developmental and transformational agenda through innovative scientific research. In other words, we want to make or contribute to making African scientists better than they are, or better, more productive and impactful. All right, so we believe so much in excellence. Um, all those who have aligned with us and followed us up to this time, we know we mean business when we say excellence. Excellence um, is very important for us to be where we, we aim to be. So we want to instill excellence in Africa science through competence acquisition, capacity building, and career development. And through that, to ensure that African scientists meaningfully contribute to Africa's developmental challenges. So we have different activities, seminars, like we have this evening workshops. We had one last Friday. We have hands-on courses. Some are ongoing, some are planned. Um, I will tell you a bit about that. But this, this courses or trainings we have um, cover the full spectrum of the scientific research uh, process. So from question formulation, to um, communication and publication. And uh, we have um, a mentoring program currently uh, targeted primarily to members, but um, we also have forums where non-members um, identify with us, even though we want everybody to join ASFI family as members. We also have um, research programs that ongoing, um, yeah, in which we want to uh, contribute to finding out the situations um, of African scientists in different perspectives, and also use the, the findings from those research programs to develop and uh, yeah, develop our our programs as well and the point of discussion. Um, one of the things that we have introduced. Um, since last year is the annual multidisciplinary conference and bootcamp. We had the first edition of it last year, and it was um, a very fantastic and impactful gathering of Africans across board. We had about 150 scientists across Africa, home and abroad as well, who joined and uh, made the three days we had last year um, a rewarding experience. Um, so this year we go again uh, for the second um, um, edition of the conference and boot camp. And as you can see on the screen, several programs, fantastic programs are lined up. And I tell you, you will have no excuse not to be there. But um, I just want to encourage everyone, please find a way to register and join us so that we can have this good time together. We'll have keynotes, we'll have panel discussions on topical issues, we'll have boot camp um, workshops, we'll have oral and postal presentations, we'll have group projects, 
I will have other programs like my career, my story, um, yeah, where we give opportunity for um, senior academics or scientists who will come to tell us the process through which they become who they are today. The challenges they encountered and overcame the motivation for some of us who are still trying to find our space. Yeah, we also give opportunity to our Sudanese colleagues to give us a highlight of where they are and what is happening um, with them. We have prizes and awards, have a program called SFI Women, and then there are many more who come. The date is 26 to 28 of November. Please register and join us. Yeah, some of the programs, flyers for some of the programs I highlight, you can see them on the screen. And uh, with regards to that, we also have um, opportunity. Um, we extend to those who have not-for-profit organizations um, to use this opportunity to showcase their their organizations um, in the during the comp. Um, so we we are offering um, a page to each organization in the conference booklet to showcase. So if you're interested in this to showcase your organization, uh, please uh, request is that um, send the logo, the brief description, vision, mission, and brief highlights of your organization's activities to conference to 2023 Initiatives.com. So please send it and the deadline to do that is 31st of October, and that is this coming um, Thursday, right? And then we have a course that is open for application out of science leadership. Um, I encourage everyone, if, if you want to become better you, this is a brand new course. We have not taught this. And uh, in the line of uh, the courses we teach, although we have had it, I've taught it in other forums, but please um, find a way and register for this. It is all free of charge, although we are going to give priority to SFI members. So if you have not registered as a member, I encourage you, please do that and uh, register for this course you will be happy that you did. All right, watch the registration deadline. The course will be taught next year, January to February, Saturdays. So please um, register and join us. All right. Okay. And then yeah, we started our journal this year, SFI Research Journal. The papers have been rolling, but just to inform you that the journal is open for continuous manuscript submission. You can submit your manuscript at any time. And once it goes through the peer review process and is accepted, it to be published. So we do not have waiting for a certain time before your paper can be published, it is on a continuous process. So please, our goal is to strive for excellence. I want to do that with every pride we have. All right. So this year, um, we have been working on the theme Innovation in Research, Africa's panacea. All right. The ultimate goal of research is to take care of the society, to take care of the society. And according to this UNESCO mantra, research or science um, ensures longer and healthier life for the society, provides medicine to cure our diseases, provides water for our thirst, helps us to grow our foods, provides energy for our consumption, makes life more fun, generate solutions for everyday life. Science, in a sense, must respond to societal needs. Anything aside of this 
is not what it should be. And I think this is a reality check for us. What are you doing? This is the emphasis we have on this platform, ASFR, the role of science to support societal growth. And this is quite essential for um, Africa. Um, I repeat this every month and for the last 10 months, now I have repeated this, that our continent is bleeding in every known parameter to assess societal development. Africa is lagging behind. If you look at human uh, development, if you look at life expectancy, if you look at a number of people without access to, to drinking water, improved drinking water, if you look at poverty, extreme poverty, if you look at internet, share of population using internet, mention it, mention it. Um, we have a lot to do. And so um, in the words of um, Hubert, Gisen, the challenges we face are colossal and complex. And we need to put the best brains together. Who are they? Who are the best brains? Those who are gathered here this evening. So we need collaboration. We need sharing of knowledge and information. We need open science approaches. And in all of this, to be able to capitalize on the wealth of resources we have, because we have them in abundance, and to be able to address our challenges. Um, science, technology, and innovation need to be at the core of, of every strategy we need. University of Oslo defines innovation as uh, new ideas that work. They contains, consist of processes that lead to a new or improved product or measures that will improve services or solve societal needs. Innovation is about adding value to society. And I tell you, that is what we will be having this evening. And um, you will be happy that you didn't miss this evening because it is a very, a very um, simple depiction of what, um, of what, um, innovation is all about of what innovation is all about so please as usual i invite you um, um use the chat box to um, um introduce yourself and as you can see as i've gone through it says that one of the things that is important in driving everything we do is collaboration and there are many collaborations happen on this platform. So please use the chat box, tell about who you are, and then and connect. Um, I would uh, be introducing our speaker. Um, one of the things that happens is that um, Mona is, is really joining us from a very remote area. So her network is very bad going off and on. Let's see how we can manage her uh, this evening as she tells us her story. Um, so please, um, we'll bear with her. Um, if, if, if I was in the position to, um, to um, help her out, I can help her to present, but the story is always best in the mouth of the one who has, who has developed that experience. So this evening we'll be having our sister joining us from Sudan, uh, Mrs. Mona Gamal Eldin Idris. Um, she's a lecturer at the Department of Medical Laboratories, East Nile College in Sudan. She's a teaching assistant at uh, Nilen University College of Science and Technology also in Sudan. She is an active volunteer involved in various community initiatives and it's great to hear that uh, Mona was a competitor in Nobel Prize for Students, the Hot Prize 2024, um, but um, she couldn't attend because the uh, Arab and African universities withdrew from that competition due to the, um, the 
war going on between Israel and Pal Palestine. When Israeli universities joined the competition, the Arab and African universities withdrew from that. But this is a milestone she came through up to that point. Her ultimate ambition is to use her project to add value and improve an immediate society to improve the African society and to improve the world. She is the founder of the platform that is bringing this um, project today, NAWA. She is the founder of NAWA and she is the holder of the patent for the product she is uh, going to demonstrate. Her topic is the multi power of date seeds. Um, and how these seeds are making a difference in Africa's health. All right. Now, whilst uh, products um, include things like the caffeinated coffee, sweets, candies, cooking, spices, hair care products, nostalgia, body moisturizers for the skin, eyeliner, toothpaste, bath soap, kitchen soaps, pesticides, animal fields, and then um, um, many of them. Um, Mona is really uh, happy to say that she is a member of ASFI. So she's extending the invitation to every one of us who have not who have not registered members to join ASFI. So Mona, we start now. But please, if you have questions, just put them on the chat box. And we will pick them up as she's presenting, and they will be presenting the questions um, after her presentation. All right, Mona, thank you very much for coming this evening. The floor is yours. If you, um, is Mona in here? Yeah. yeah. So if if it gives you problems showing your your video, you can put off your video so that you have enough bandwidth to to speak. So um, just let me know when you want me to share. Okay. You want me to share your screen more now. The floor is yours. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome to this meeting. I'm grateful to Professor Bright Noaro for this invitation and for accompanying you with me on the journey of discovering the secret of the Dead Seed which represents my identity, my passion, reason of my success, and my inspiration. I'm Mona Gamaradine Idris, 27 Sudanese lady, graduate from Manila University, College of Science and Technology, Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, Technical Assistant at the University, Lecturer at East Mile College, Department of Medical Lab Laboratories. Uh, Bet and Hoda are registered to Redmark Honor NAWA. Recently, I'm graduate from McKinsey for World Combat. My journey, my journey with Dead Seat began four years ago from just an observation of its use in traditional medicine by ancestor. After that became an idea for a graduation research that obtained an honors degree, which was then promoted to a scientific paper. And after that, now obtained and after that now obtained a bit and, and become a registered trademark. Join us in our journey to unblock the potential of dead seed. So I would like to talk to you about my research and the obtained result, which is about the antioxidant and antimicrobial activities of Sudanese dead palm seed. By using the standard strain of bacteria and also Bacteria that have been exposed to antibiotic E. coli to the monastophorus.
and Mon, I just let me Professor, know when you want me to show your Professor Bryce, slide. Please yeah. show that presentation. I should show what? Yeah. What do you want me to show? The presentation from the first. Okay, the presentation from the first. All right. Firstly, about the antimicrobial. Second, about the capability of the extract to kill the bacteria known by measuring the bacterial growth inhibition zone and the maximum antioxidant effect observed by accompanying to the scorbic acid, which is standard. I'm used to type of dead seed type. Firstly, the more the dead seed, Gondela dead seed. The higher antioxidant effect show in Tamoda and the second in a gondola. After obtaining this result, I was able to discover the secret of the ancestor in the small thing, which is seem hard, dry, and useless. But actually, it's an impressive treasure. So I found that the dead palm seeds not only benefit to their fruit, but uh, every part of the tree has an e uh, has a use, even the dead seed, which is our concern today. Dead palm trees distributed in the many countries in the world, including Sudan, specifically in North Sudan, which the region out from it. All right. Yeah, please just bear with us. We just lost Mona. Um, yeah, it's happening often, but she will join in a minute. So just uh, give us some seconds. Like I said earlier, she's joining us from a very remote area as a result of what is happening in Sudan. Um, so um, the network is very poor, but hopefully she will come on board again. So let's uh, bear with her for a few seconds. Okay, Mona is here now. So Mona, go ahead and just let me know um, there is the slides there, you want me to show. There is a connection problem. I don't know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So just that let is, me know. That is is it the right slide? Is it and the right anti slide? My... This one, eh? Is the one you want? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That is. Yeah. 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 It's about the antioxidant activity of Sudanese dead palm seed. Compared to the standard, which is corbic acid. The higher antioxidant activity shown in Gundela, uh, oh, shown in Tamoda by uh, 91%, and the second shown in Gundela by percent 85. The other column is about the antimicrobial activity. Measured by diameter of the inhibition zone that created by the and that created by dead palm seed extract, and measure the capability of it to killing the bacteria in two phases: strain standard of bacteria and bacteria that exposed to the antibiotics. So that is about the result of my research. After that, the most important part of my journey, after complete the research, 
I convert this research to the, a unique natural sustainable product that benefits both people and planet. In field of health, nutrition, cosmetic, and daily family needs. This promote this product promote hostility well-being and environmental responsibility, industry and innovation, decent work, economic growth, also good health, well-being, and responsible consumption. The count of my product is 14 product. Each product have a large value and solve this certain problem. So my product Mona, you still there? Yeah, she's gone. Okay. Just be patient, don't go, because we have not yet reached the exciting part. The exciting part is really coming. So just uh, stay with us a bit. He will join again, and the journey will continue. Hello. All right, Mona, go yes, ahead. So is it the right slide you want to be on the screen? So is it I the will... right one? Yeah, she's gone off again. So you can imagine my introduction. That this is the reality reality of what happens in our continent um, when we cannot easily enjoy what others eat. Yes, the reason you cannot hear is that we lost Mona. Um, I hope she is able to join again because now it's taking longer than she had in previous times she dropped out. So let's uh, give a few, few more seconds. Um, I wish I can take over the presentation. Unfortunately, not. Unfortunately not, but um, some of the beautiful pictures she, she um, wants to show. And let's give her some seconds. If she doesn't join, um, I hope um, I can show those pictures so that you see. Um, and some of the things she has been able to do okay this is a fantastic journey um, she's taking to get something 
cut off the dead seeds. Yeah, at the same time, I'm trying to reach her. I'm not getting uh, to reach her. Some people uh, ask in the chat um, uh, if um, there are uh, lots of type of um, uh, dates, uh, dates and um, the effects, uh, if they are exclusive for these types or only studied by here. Um, well, I think uh, from my understanding, what she's showing here, all these presentations are her own product. Yes. Uh, she has the patent um, and own the copyright for, for or trademark for them. Yes. Right. Um, Africa uh, and uh, also um, some uh, certain areas of uh, Asia, like uh, here in Saudi Arabia, have different types of uh, dates, and uh, each type has a special taste and uh, special uh, benefits and uh, um, specific uh, components. Um, there are some studies when I searched the title, uh, I find uh, there are some studies on date seeds. And there are also um, protocols for uh, blinded controlled uh, trials. Uh, but actually, uh, I didn't. Mona is coming again. I yeah. didn't find um, uh, anything that is licensed um, to be used um, by uh, pharmaceutical companies or something like this, so that it will be a good opportunity to open discussion in this area. Mm -hmm. He's trying to join, although yes. challenging as well. Okay, why she's trying to is she here now? Okay. While we are waiting for her, I can see a hand. I see Swad Ahmed. Yeah, uh, let me unmute you. Well, um, yeah, we usually wait at the end, but uh, for this circumstance, I think uh, we can start some discussion. Then when she joins, she can continue. Yeah, Swad, please go ahead. Yes, uh, hi everyone. Uh, thank you for this interesting topic. Uh, I'm eager to hear what the uh, present, unfortunately. Uh, for 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 this date, uh, she she mentioned two types, but uh, I know that in Sudan, uh, as I am also from Muslim state, where it is the uh, main uh main 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 tree in that area. Uh, and we know that now uh, Sudan climate is changing. For example, this uh, year, uh, a lot of floods come and uh, it may hinder, uh, uh, already hinder the harvest of good types of this, uh, two types of dates because they are harvested in late September. Uh, and I, I, I want to know, uh, I, uh, yani, we want to know more about uh, if this is exclusive for this type of uh, dates or there are potential other types because uh, some types are maybe more uh, and maybe uh, more uh, accepted by people because they will be harvested before the time of flooding. Uh, because it's an interesting topic, yet I know that in our heritage, uh, 
understand they uh, deaths are used in many many uh, treating many types of diseases including anemia diarrheal diseases especially for children and uh, many other uh, diseases mona is here now thank you uh, aisha thank she's you. in i i see and, her aisha do you see her here now yes uh, I think we lost her. We lost her again. Yeah. So I saw her some seconds ago, but um, we lost her again. Okay. So what I wanted to do was to at least to also appetize ourselves with some of the things she has uh, here. Um. So okay, she's coming. Maybe let me be a little bit patient because um um I want to sure yeah she's she will be here soon uh, she's trying to join okay is she here all right Mona you are here now you can unmute yourself. Yeah, no, and yeah. speak. Yeah, there are several discussions because of the nature of your mm -hmm. network now. Uh, perhaps you can you can take the most important points now, so that uh, is it the right slide you want to be on the yeah, screen? Yeah, there is a problem in network. Is it the right the right slide you want to be on the screen? Now, now I'm talking about the protein product. Do you want me to show the products? You want me to show the products? Explanation. Do you want me to show your products, Mona? Mona, we don't hear you. Okay. Um, I don't know whether she's sitting. She has dropped. Yeah, I think she has dropped. So what I would do since she's is planning to talk about the product. I can take you through the products and uh, perhaps when she comes back, she can um, start to explain this product. So these are the pictures she showed me. I mean, she sent to me of the product she, she has uh, had, um, she's doing. So let me just take you through. Um, this one, I'm not sure what it is, but it looks like something you can drink. Maybe it's a juice or... Uh, coffee. Um, it's a coffee. It's coffee, yes. okay. The, this one she called the caffeinated coffee. All right. This looks yummy, isn't it? Is this ice cream or... Man, help me. I don't know what it looks like ice cream or maybe something like um, products of coffee, cappuccino. Oh, or... Okay. okay. All oh, right. Sure. Yeah. I Those don't from know. Sudan, you can tell us if you know as well. If this is uh, beauty from dead seeds or it included dates also within uh, because uh, mostly in um, in Egypt and in our region uh, they make um, uh, some uh, candy from uh, dates mm. not from the seeds it is very delicious and also um, 
have uh, benefits for um, Zeus with anemia and um, give energy and power. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Um, yes, Ola BC. Um, thank you very much for that suggestion. Yeah, that is what I started thinking as we started having these issues. Yeah, I try to ensure um, if everything is fine with the network. So I didn't know it to be this chronic. So um, we would have uh, made alternative plans for how to make recording. Um, yeah, so we will take note of this um, going forward for the next time. Okay. All right, so yeah, this, um, are these the dead seeds? They yes. look very close to coffee. Yeah. Right. I can see Mona is here. Mona, we are already doing the presentations ourselves. So hope you don't mind. We're just going through the um the um um products. So if you want to say some words, we have started from the beginning. Please just go ahead, unmute yourself, and then you can speak. We are going through the products one by one, and uh, some comments are coming in. Those who are familiar with um, um, those pictures, oh, she's gone. Okay, let's continue what we are doing. Yeah, yes. Mona, Mona has patent for this product, actually. So please. Yeah, these are the assortment of her product. You can see um, her, her company is Nawa. Nawa, and she has this assortment of uh, the products she's, she's doing, both inside the body and outside the body. So the body creams and the things you can eat as well. Does anyone have an idea what this one is? Anyone who has idea? This looks like an art. No. For the eye. Oh, yes. Uh, there is um, something uh, put uh, inside eye as a source mm. of cosmetic for um, giving uh, like uh, eyeliner, but mm. also it has benefits for the eye. It is used in um, Arabic area. It is called uh, It is uh, named Kohl. But mm. some people um, prepare it from uh, now, from uh, date seeds or other seeds. Mm -hmm. And but this interesting. is interesting. Mm. So it's it's not only for beauty's sake. It can it's, it has it's medicinal to the eyes, is it? Yes, uh, in um, in Arabic culture, it, it has benefits for uh, eyes, um, uh, like. Um, some health effects improving uh, the cremation to so that increase circulation to the eye, and uh, they um, think it um, it improves vision and things like that. Mm -hmm. Is an oil. Yes, um, I saw also many products from uh, dead seeds oil on the internet. They have um, many benefits for um, skin, hair, uh, as a nutrient and cosmetic. 
Mm-hmm. So can you also eat this oil or drink it or use it for cooking or just uh, for the skin? Okay, Mona is joining. Let's see if she can help us with this. Is this edible or just uh, for for the skin? Mona, we are looking through the products and where you can see what we have on the on this on the screen is is this for the skin or do you is it edible? That is for hair. That's for, for, hair. for hair. Yeah, that is dead seed oil. Useful for solve the problem of that hair about Yeah, Mona has gone muted now. This has uh, several things here. Yeah, I can see now our oil. Now what cream? Yes. And these are the bags for packaging, eh? Now where is the Arabic um, translation for uh, dead seeds? For dead seeds? Yeah. Ah, okay. This, these are shampoos, eh? You can see this as shampoos, the shampoo. Yes, there is a shampoo and... Uh, all our shampoo. Mm -hmm. All right. This is, this looks like uh, brown sugar or what? Is it? Is it a brown sugar for baking? Is it powder? Okay. Um, hello, um, sir. Yes, so please. I got, can you hear me, sir? I hear you. Yes, I got uh, Mona on the on the call, on WhatsApp call, so that um, as you present her product on the screen, she can speak to, to that, if that's mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that is fine. I think we have almost finished uh, this. So, yeah, I mean, uh, if if she wants to talk about this, let's go through from where we are here now. And then maybe we can run through the ones we have gone through before. Yeah, yes. so is she speaking to the mic? Eh? Yes, yes. So over to you, Mona. Is she seeing what is on the screen? Yes, yeah, she's seeing that. Okay. So Mona, can you speak up? Can you see what's on the screen? I'm sure that now I have our hair collection with a magical effect that treats the scalp and hair problem, hair loss, blindness, eczema, which is for product. The third product, quickly, I'm talking about it a decaffeinated coffee, dead tea, coffee. Which is prepared in a certain step that benefits that uh, people which is it this she's talking about? Hello, Mona, can you see the screen? 
Oh, I lost that EA game. Okay. I think we we had a good flow already and some already helping us with uh, um to explain what some of those are. Okay. So the, this one is dead kernel switch, a healthy anti-cavity switch, rich in nutrient, free of additives and artificial colors, safe for children with diabetes. Ingredients, natural honey, milk, peanut butter, coconut. But so this doesn't have dates, dates do they? I think it contains uh, dates, not date seeds. Dates. Yes. Um, okay. In uh, most uh, Arabic uh, countries, um, some people use the dates as a sweet, a sweetening agent instead of sugar. Uh, mm -hmm. it, uh, the value is uh, higher and the um, uh, toxic effects of sugar or um, complications are less. Okay. So, so this, with... this ingredient are in addition to dates. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This kind of spices. Yes. Um, spices for cooking. You can add it to um, uh, meat, chicken, or any um, food to give it a taste and also um, enzymatic activity for um, digestion. Mm. Now I see it. All right, those are the the uh, products I have here, and then um, of course, um, yeah, we we didn't we didn't want it to to be like this, but um, yeah, that is what we have is a problem in. Uh, in uh, our continent, what we face with these um, challenges of network. Um, and then of course, um, Sudan is problematic now. Uh, so please um, bear with us um, with it. Our colleagues in Sudan are facing challenges. And I have to tell you, Mona is in a very dear situation, okay? In a very dear situation. And as you can see, um, this is really what we talk about when we talk about innovation, research innovation. Bringing um, our ideas to become products that can benefit the society. Where she is, uh, she needs help. All right, I have to say this here. She needs help. Um, I have um, interacted with her because this, this is a fantastic idea, but where she is, is, is pitiable. It's very pitiable. Um, so she needs help. And if you think in any way, I mean, not just help to take a product, but even help for survival, all right? Help for survival, um, she's in that kind of situation. So, if there is a way you think you want to support, just um, get in touch with me or um, a man or a Jibola, um, can reach us to her. Nothing is too big, nothing is too small. So, help, help somebody, help a sister in need. So, that is where he is, and you can understand why the network is going off and on because she's in a very, very remote, um, a pitiable place. But we see that um, um, she has a very potential product that, I mean, nobody, nobody will uh, avoid everything 
everything she's showcasing there because it covers everything from what we eat to what we use on our bodies. And if this is taken further, I think it has really potential to, to do a lot of things for for the society. Okay, um, so sorry the way this turned out, but uh, it has, of course, aroused some interest. Uh, what will happen is that I will tell her to also record it. Um, um, I will tell her to also record it, okay? Yes, um, Ajibola, if you could just help me to pick out those who are requesting for a contact, and then you can... Uh, please um, give them contact. If you, you are on the ASF file WhatsApp, um, then um, we will be able to send her WhatsApp number to you and you can reach her directly. So please, Ajibola, if you can copy the message that is coming up and then we can uh, <clears throat> take that forward. Um, so I will try to encourage her to record this presentation and then we can circulate it as well as put it on uh, our WhatsApp, I mean, our YouTube, our YouTube channel. All right, Eman, I see your, your hand. Go ahead. Yes, um, I would like uh, that uh, we can have uh, more discussions in uh, this topic in future because if you uh, know the huge number of um, uh, dead trees present in Africa, for example, Egypt uh, recently have uh, recorded the um, uh, number in uh, Genesis record for a uh, high number of uh, Dead um, trees, and uh, there are a lot of products that can be um, manufactured from this and can be utilized uh, as either nutrition or health effects in Africa. Uh, usually, uh, these dates are uh, used um, pure without. Uh, uh, manufacturing and uh, just eaten as uh, food uh, and um, to some extent sometimes stored um, as dried form to be used uh, outside of the season uh, so it is um, open idea for uh, improving the outcome of um, agriculture and the farming in Africa and improving the situation of food um, uh, problem present there and also uh, health effects and uh, cosmetic nature that can uh, be a source for improving the economy of different countries in Africa. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Any Anyone who wants to say something before? Um... Um, before we can close, before we can close, um, yeah, um, I think currently, um, I see a question here, Teresa, uh, currently, she does not have funding, um, as far as I know, and uh, as far as I was in touch with her um, about, about uh, a month ago, um, she, she, this is just, she's, struggling on her own to put up what she has done so far. So if you know um, sources of funding, please just uh, um, be in touch. Um, Ajibola has put, um, has put a WhatsApp number on the chat box. So if you want to be in touch, please. Richard, I see some people are asking about um, how to get the product and some who are willing to also render some support. Okay, so colleagues, um, thank you for coming this evening. Um, I would like to run off so that we can call it an evening. Or well, just to let you know, um, our conference is coming up in November. And so for that reason, 
uh, we will not be having um, the um, seminar series in November. Okay, let's put all our effort towards a conference. Um, and then December is usually tricky uh, because the seminars come at the last Sunday of each month. And December is is usually not so not so good to hold it. So this may be our our last um seminar series for this year. Okay. But I tell you, um for next year, we are taking this seminar series to a higher dimension. Um well, I'm not revealing it to you now. And if you want to know what it is after the conference, because they will announce it. But um, the seminar series for 2025 are not something you should miss. Um, so join us in the in the January edition because it's a seminar uh, series. We are taking a journey. And that kind of journey is not a journey you you join halfway. It's a journey that you join from the beginning. There are some journeys you take in life that you begin to regret. I met somebody sometime and then he was exclaiming, but why did I know this now? Goodness me, if I'd known this, if I'd known this, uh, years back, oh my 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 God! So that is that kind of journey. I know it's everywhere is busy. We are all busy. We are all engaged. But do your best to come, mix yourself, collaborate. Um, many many you can see many of you started some collaborations, working together in some project. But once you disintegrate. The ideas die. So uh, amidst the busy um, nature uh, we we have around us, let's continue to see how we can uh, um, continue our journey um, to derive the necessary product from them. So next year, um, Seminar series are going to be a different dimension. So just to let you, just to let you know that. So that will, will, will restart again in January 2025. Okay, for those who joined later, uh, once I have made this announcement about the conference, I'm still calling up on you. Please go and register. Go and register. Don't be told what happened. Make sure you are the one who is telling others what happened. Those who miss, and you, you can then tell them you missed a lot. All right? Because we have wonderful programs, exciting ones, exhilarating ones that have been lined up. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. All right. Yeah. Send information about your organization. If you want us to showcase your organization in the conference, it is FFC. It is FFC. Uh, no, FOC. Free of charge. Free of charge. Free of charge. And the course Art of Science Leadership is a course nobody should miss. Nobody should miss. If you are a scientist, it doesn't matter what you're doing. If you're doing your bachelor's, um, if you're doing your uh, master's degree, I want to be a scientist. If you're doing a PhD, if, you, if you're a professor, whatever you are, as far as you have taken this journey, you are in the journey of leadership. And so you need to have the tools that you need to do better. And this course will be an addition to what you're doing. And of course, SFI Research Journal continues its publication. So please um, submit um, um, 
submit your papers. Okay, so this is where we come to the end of today. And all this while I see that many of you have been um, trying to say something, but I have deliberately locked you up. You can't say a word because I have I have muted you. But now um, I want to omit you. If you want to say something before you leave, this time your voice can be heard. So thank you very much, colleagues. Thank you for all the support we have had um, since the beginning of this year on this seminar series. I think it has been a fantastic period. We started with discussing the fundamentals and different dimensions of research innovation. And then from July, we have been showcasing some innovative product project platforms. So um, thank you for all the support, those who have attended, those who have spoken here, those who have contributed in one way or the other. Um, so we meet you on this particular program in January again. But of course, the many things that are still ongoing. All right. Um, thank you and have a good evening. Have a good week. You can use your mouth now. You don't need to continue to type. You can use your mouth now because you can unmute yourself as well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Thanks, bro. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Alex.